Heavyweight Championship match is coming up. Peter Sugarfoot Cunningham of the Intercontinental. Tonight is 141 pounds. His record, 15 wins, one defeat, with five wins by way of knockout. He is the kick North American champion. Please welcome Juan Torres. And his opponent in this championship bout is across the ring. On my right, fighting out of the red corner. Wearing white trunks with gold trim, from Edmonton, Alberta, Canada, fighting out of the Jet Center in Van Nuys, California. His weight tonight is an even 140 pounds. His outstanding record, 40 wins, no losses, one draw, with 20 big wins by way of knockout. He is the kick, super lightweight intercontinental champion. Please welcome Peter Sugarfoot Cunningham. <laughs> Referee in charge now to give instructions, Cecil of People. See the tail of the tape there, Peter Cunningham, 40 and 0. He's undefeated with 20 knockouts, 26 years old, 5 feet 8 inches tall, 140 pounds today. Juan Torres, only 15 wins, one loss, and five knockouts. 21 years old, but he has bought, fought and beaten some good people. He's giving up a lot of reach, but he always does. He weighed in today at 141. Should be an excellent fight. It should be. You know, Juan Torres, John, we've seen him how many times. He always gives a great, great show. We look forward to it. Round one, the Intercontinental Super Lightweight Championship on the line in the white. Peters, Sugarfoot Cunningham. Watch him kick, you'll know why. Juan Torres in the printed long pants. Again, Torres, the younger of the two and the less experienced. Peter Cunningham already showing the style that has made him one of the sport's most exciting, most outstanding fighters. He just floats. He floats in, floats out. He's so quick and he's got such great dexterity with the front leg. You know, you never see Peter, uh, you never see him off balance. You never see him... Uh, uh, in a position where he could get himself hurt. He just seems to be in total control of himself at all times. Torres, on the other hand, he's a weighed-in fighter. He's a tough kid. And he'll fight anybody and five at a time if that's what it takes. That's pretty much the story. He, and he, he has that kind of heart. And he's really a, he's a winner because he comes in, he fights people he's not supposed to beat, and he beats them. He figures out a way to beat them somehow. Once again, the Intercontinental, Intercontinental Super Lightweight Championship on the line. You watch Peter Cunningham, he looks like he's always about three inches off the floor. You know, he doesn't <laughs> seem like his feet even touch the ground. Again, Peter Cunningham in the white and Juan and Torres in the long, dark trousers with the prints. And I'm not sure what those things are there, John, do you? Well, yeah, they're... Uh, oh, they're Chinese they characters. Chinese, white Chinese characters, lots of them. <laughs> That's what he said, he told me, I got lots of white letters on my face. We're under 30 seconds in this round one of a scheduled 11 round Intercontinental Super Lightweight Championship fight. And again, at this point, a feeling out kind of round. Peter Cunningham being warned there for the low kick, for the leg kick, they're not allowed in this fight. Sweeps are allowed, but the leg kicks aren't. Chip on your left in the white shorts, Peter Sugarfoot Cunningham. And in the long pants, Juan Torres. Again, the weighed-in brawler against the exquisite technician. Peter Cunningham is just the consummate technical fighter. John, how did you score that first round? I had the first round even. I, Cunningham probably had a slight edge, but it was too slight to give him a full 10 rounds, so I just made it even. It was kind of a feeling-out round, though, for both fighters. We're seeing Cunningham this round already starting to throw the kicks with a lot more authority. There's a lot, he's, they're throwing them a lot stiffer now. You know, it, we, we've talked to uh, to Peter Cunningham before, too, and, and asked him, you know, here's the guy who said, there's a good right hand over the top that uh, backs Juan Torres off. You, you ask Cunningham, uh, 40 fights, only 20 knockouts, and you just say only 20 like it's, like it's not very many. Of course it is, but he says that a lot of times he just likes to fight. He likes being out there. He doesn't want the fight to end early. He has fun doing this. Well, it looks like he has fun, and I think probably if you were that much better than most of the guys you fought, it'd be fun. <laughs> 
and a good. Nice round kick there by Torres. He slipped one past Cunningham, and he slipped a jab in on Cunningham. And again, Torres, as we say, a tough kid, a brawler. He won't back up from anybody. Well, he's been blocked there by Cunningham. He's always been able to find a way to win. He beat uh, Pat Romero in a yep. fight that he shouldn't have won, but he did. Uh, he beat Norris Williams in Lake Tahoe a year and a half ago in a fight that he shouldn't have won, but he did. And a lot of people thought that Chai Smith, who's a very exciting young fighter out on the West Coast, would be, but he did. A good right hand him. there. A good right hand there by Torres as we wind down at the end of right. Another right hand by Torres as we are under 10 seconds in this the second round of the Intercontinental Super Lightweight match. Once again, into the corner now of Juan Torres and John, the youngster here. What is he being told in that corner? What are they telling him to do with Pete Cunningham? Well, they probably don't want to show Cunningham too much respect. You know, he had some success in that last one to throw the right hand. He landed the right hand a couple of times. He threw the jab a couple of times. They probably don't want him to be too respectful of Cunningham's front leg. Just going in there and hit him. Well, again, Juan Torres. A guy who's always going to give you the fight. Spinning That's back one. fist. Comes around there, lands high up on the forehead on Peter Cunningham. It's not a good, strong shot. Cunningham catches it kind of coming in, so he doesn't get hit with the full force of the blow. But still, it didn't land. Round three at the Hollywood Palladium. Dan Walker along with John Worley. This is for the Intercontinental Super Lightweight Championship. Peter Cunningham in the white shorts, Juan Torres in the long pants, and again, Cunningham, a big crowd favorite. Everything he does here will be reacted to by the crowd. In truth, those shots were all blocked by Torres. Now, Torres is kind of an unorthodox fighter. His, his timing is a little awkward, his style is a little awkward, and he throws things from sort of strange angles. You know, he hits you from, from directions you don't expect. And I think probably Cunningham is having just a little trouble getting getting a sense of adjustment. He's, he's throwing a lot of kicks that are getting jammed, just like that double kick. He's had no success with the double kicks yet. He usually hits people with them. And, of course, that's obviously a strength of Torres because, let's face it, Peter Cunningham is not going to see a whole lot of guys that fight this way, and it is going to take him a little time to catch up to it. Referee Cecil Peoples there separating the fighters as they got tangled up again. Torres... The shorter of the two in the black, the long pants, Peter Cunningham in the white. And again, as you said, John Torres really not showing him all that much respect. And that's what you wanted to do. Flashing kicks by Cunningham there, an excellent kicker. They're nice kicks, but they're being blocked. The gymnastic roll there. I give about a bit. seven and a half on that. <laughs> Under 30 seconds in this round three, scheduled for 11. Uh, nice kick there by Torres. Yeah, Torres caught him on the way in. Cunningham starting to come back, trying to throw the right hand, but ran into the round kick on the way. They exchange on the ropes, and you would almost have to say that Torres got the better of that one, as we are under 10 seconds here in round three. Four. Scheduled for 11, the Intercontinental Super Lightweight title is on the line. Peter Cunningham in the white, Juan Torres in the black. And again, Cunningham with that good front leg kick into this midsection. Cunningham's just so quick, so fast. He just flashes in and out. But you know, he throws a right hand that loops a little bit. He doesn't throw it real straight and crisp. He kind of tends to kind of loop the right hand over the top. You know what does bother me a little bit, John? It's Cunningham fights with his mouth open there, as you can see. Yeah. I guess if you're that quick, you don't figure to get hit on the jaw. But if he ever does, it could be a problem for him. Yeah, it's a good way to get a broken jaw. Outstanding way to get a broken jaw. And again, Cunningham with the left catching Torres coming in here. No real big 
ammunition uh, hauled out yet by either of these two guys. It seems like in this round that Cunningham maybe is just going to try to see if he can get a sense of time. And just move and stick and move and stick and don't get in there and throw a lot of stuff. Don't get don't, don't get panicky and try to knock anybody out. Just try to get a feel for it. There's a good, good right hand by Cunningham. A left behind it. That kick doesn't land. But he certainly got Torres' attention with that one. Flashing kicks. I mean, they just come out of there easy for him to throw those combinations. Tells you a little about some, something about Cunningham there that he missed that spin kick and still was able to get in a follow kick from an angle that I would not have believed he could do it. Yeah. yeah Under 30 really seconds here, round four. Remarkably uh, coordinated and skilled with his kicking technique. But again, Torres, not intimidating. You know, this fight's a close fight at this point. I've got it pretty well even at this point. to compare to what your face goes through in everyday shaving in an environment. That's why I use the Platinum Collection. What happens in Five the Five upcoming here. Intercontinental Super Lightweight Championship on the line. Juan Torres the black. Peter Cunningham the white. And through this point, and a good left there by Torres, and through this point, John Worley, you have a one-point lead on your unofficial card for... For Cunningham, I've got him up by 1.3938. It's been a very competitive fight. Now, once again, Montour is coming here from out of town. Everybody's seen Peter Cunningham a lot of times in this in this town. That that certainly is to his advantage. Not to say that anyone isn't being fair, but you're used to seeing a guy throw certain things. You're used to seeing him have success. When he throws that stuff, sometimes even if it doesn't hit as well, you, you're used to seeing it hit. You, you kind of get the weighs on your mind. It does, and of course, you see the flashing kick from Peter Cunningham, but nevertheless, all of them blocked by Torres. A couple of hand techniques and a couple of punches landed there by Cunningham, much the faster of the two, and certainly by a great long ways the more experienced. Nevertheless, Torres is the aggressor. Seems like the last couple of rounds, Cunningham's people probably told him, hey, this guy is not going to be easy to fight. He's got to take him serious. Go swing, go swing. And they're moving well, moving well. He's moving well now. He's making Torres miss, and he's countering him very effectively there. You know, the, crowd, the crowd would like to see him get in there and just go toe-to-toe, -to -toe, but that would not be a smart thing for Good right Cunningham hand by Torres. Peter Cunningham off of a countering off that kick by Torres. Torres nodding his head in affirmation that it was, in fact, a good shot. One of the things you like about Juan Torres is that I think Juan Torres is genuinely kind of still, in, in a lot of ways, in, in awe of all these guys. They were kind of his heroes. He was a little karate guy, you know, coming up and watching these guys on television. And now he's one of them, and I think he can't quite, you know, snap to that yet. the end of the five rounds as we look into the corner of Juan Torres and uh, John what you know you're, you're you're five rounds into a fight you're a young kid with a guy like Peter Cunningham what are you thinking in there as a fighter what's he thinking well, about I think probably Herbert Cody is still telling him look you can beat this guy you know you're putting the pressure on him you know you're confusing him and trying to keep your trying to keep him thinking real positive thoughts trying to keep uh, Juan Torres from becoming at all discouraged if he can keep him up like that, and Juan Torres at this point, I think, probably still feels very confident in a lot of ways. He feels like, yeah, maybe I can hit this guy. And that's the bell, round seven. Check that round six of the schedule 11. Again, Juan Torres in the black. Peter Cunningham in the white. This is the Intercontinental Super Lightweight Championship fight. Our main event of the evening here on World Championship Kickboxing brought to you by Joe Koffenberg and Jeff Center Promotions. We are at the Hollywood Palladium in Hollywood, California. Cunningham trying to pick the front leg up and double kick, you know, throw the fake low and then throw the side kick up high to the head. But uh, Torres gets his own leg up in the way and kind of jams those things. 
Corey's not Corey's not a, a classic kicker, not a guy that you see, you know, that has the Cunningham type of style that can kick with a flash, or, but he's effective. He gets it up there and hits with it. How do you have the fight scored at this point, John? Well, I've got uh, Cunningham up now by, should be actually up by two points, 49-47. He's won the last two rounds on the official. I have up by two. Good sidekick to the cheekbone of Juan Torres there. He blinks and takes about a half step back, comes right back in. Torres is not a fighter that's going to spend a lot of time backing up, ever. No, he can't fight that way. He has to come in, keep coming in, put the pressure, wear people down, try to land big shots. And again, you admire the guy for not being intimidated by a, by a Peter Sugarfoot Cunningham. A lot of people would be. Takes a right, gives one back, does Torres. On the corner, on the ropes rather, Cunningham scoring the better of that exchange. Ten seconds left in round six. Let's go. Seven, scheduled 11. Intercontinental super lightweight title on the line. Peter Cunningham in the white. The flashy kicker, Juan Torres, in the black. The guy who keeps coming forward. And a little bit of an abrasion uh, on the uh, left chest muscle and bicep of Juan Torres. You wonder how, what kind of a scrape he got, how he got that scrape. Like he might have caught a toenail or possibly. I spin him back just there, but he had to take a round kick in order to get it in. And again, Torres, a tough young man. We've seen him before, and he is... A winner. Seems as though Cunningham now is starting to starting to score the points. He's starting to pile up the points. He's still getting hit occasionally, but doesn't seem like Torres is having as much success as he was early in the, you know, like the second, third rounds. On the other hand, in Torres' behalf, Cunningham is really not hurting him. Cunningham is really not doing him any damage. As we are under a minute here in round seven, and as you say, Cunningham beginning to take control of the fight, but Torres. He's certainly in it at this point. How do you have it scored? I've got Torres uh, uh, down by three, cutting him up 59, 56. Torres is not a guy that gets hit real solid. You know, he's again, he's got that awkward style, and he's hard to hit real clean. Although Cunningham did land one pretty clean there. And again, a couple of kicks by Cunningham. It's interesting to watch. Well, they do, and 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 they should because these are two very fine fighters. This is a very entertaining fight to watch as we're under 10 seconds in round seven here at the Hollywood Palladium. That's what's giving us the problem. Our technique, we work for a lefty, and we work for a tall guy. Yeah. Okay? But we gotta lower the range down. You're spinning back kicking for that the guy we're gonna fight. Make them shorter. Okay? Lower them down. Keep open for the spinning back kick. All right? Yeah. Well, you see, John, uh, Ruben Urquidy's telling Peter Cunningham to lower the range to tighten up the distance a little bit. You think that's good advice? Well, yeah, he keeps throwing spinning hook kicks that are going over the head. As you know, he was supposed to be fighting Cliff Thomas. Yeah. And the fight didn't happen. That, uh, Juan Torres came in as a late minute, not a you know, late minute kind of replacement. And they were looking at fighting a guy that was five feet, 10 inches tall. Juan Torres is five, four. So he's missed him by six inches. <laughs> There's the bell for round eight. And that's as good an explanation as we'll ever get from John Worley, along with Dan Walker here at the Hollywood Palladium. You're looking at the Intercontinental Super Lightweight Championship match. Juan Torres in the black, Peter Cunningham in the white. Yeah, you see then Cunningham once again through the right hand, but he missed him because he tends to throw that, wind it up a little bit. If he just dropped it straight in, he would have caught him on the way in, but he kind of loops his right hand. Once again, there's that spinning back kick, missed him by six, didn't he? Peter's clowning a little bit. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? <laughs> Pete does like to give a show. Torres into the ribs there. Nothing really of any consequence. Nice hook kicked in by Juan Torres. Cunningham's really just so quick there. He just picks the front leg up and flashes that round kick. That is awfully fast. You know, I don't know, John, if, if we've ever seen a quicker fighter than Peter Cunningham. Uh, okay, that jab think. right there. Who would it be? Uh, 
Let's think a minute. I don't know. I can't think of anybody that's in the Nice combination there. Didn't hit with it, but looked good. It sure did. And again, as we say, Peter Cunningham, probably as quick as any fighter out there, Juan Torres, with as much heart as any fighter you'll find anywhere. This is scheduled for 11. We're in round eight. And Cunningham, you know, is respectful here. He knows he's not going to walk over this kid. He's got some respect for this young man. Of course he does. And again, getting a little out of kilter and off balance. That's the first time I've ever seen Pete do that either. He tried to force something, and he doesn't do that very often. And we are under 10 seconds here in round eight of World Championship Kickboxing. Eleven. Intercontinental Super Lightweight title. And again, two very fine fighters here. Cunningham in the white with a good left hook there, by far the more experienced fighter. Juan Torres, a fine young fighter who will be around for a long time. We'll see a lot of him. Juan Torres is only 21 years old. He's still just kind of getting in there, and, like I say, feeling like he's comfortable with all these superstars. I'd like to see this fight happen again in about two years after Juan Torres has had 15 or 18 more, more fights. It might be a different story. Tonight, however, I think you're probably absolutely correct on your scorecard. That Cunningham is just a little bit too good, very fast. A good underneath left hook there by Cunningham. Two of them, double left hook. Unless Cunningham really does get real careless here, he should be able to go ahead and walk off with the decision here. But you notice Torres is not slowing down either. Not at all. He still wants to win this fight. He thinks he can win this fight. Well, and in truth, he can. I mean, we've seen him hit people pretty hard. It's conceivable that he's got the puncher's chance here with, with Pete Cunningham. As you say, uh, might be getting a little bit... Might be getting a little bit careless there. A right to the back of the head by Cunningham. It probably hurt Cunningham's hand more than it hurt Torres. Good underneath left hook there by... Cunningham as we are under 30 seconds here in round nine. It's just so hard to fight a guy like Cunningham that has so many tools. You know, most fighters favor one, two, maybe three weapons, and that's it. They have one or two really good kicks maybe they, they like, and maybe their right hand is real strong. But Cunningham throws, as you saw, he throws, well, that, was a, that was a jump spin, <laughs> nothing there. But uh, throws it all. <laughs> Well, again, now we've gone through nine of the 11 rounds here, John. And again, uh, how do you have it scored at this point? I've got Cunningham up 89-84. He's up by five unofficially. It'd be interesting to see how the, the, the judges do score this fight. You know, everybody kind of looks at different things from different angles. And some judges like an aggressor. And we're going to see this. This is going to be like a 360, like a tor what we call a tornado kick. <laughs> Except the problem is it need, you need to move back, see? You need for Juan Torres to step back a little bit. And he just kind of moves. He doesn't move back real well. He moves in mainly. So uh, that's does, not, he ever, does he ever do that off the top rope? I, I don't know. I haven't seen him do it off the top rope. <laughs> I bet he could. I'm sure Ruben over Ruben or Kitas over there saying, Peter, don't throw the 360. <laughs> <laughs> Round 10 of the schedule 11, Peter Cunningham, Juan Torres. A very, very good fight going on here, ladies and gentlemen. Two excellent technicians. Scheduled for 11. Nice side kick there by Cunningham. Torres landed one of his own a little while ago. I think that's where Cunningham got the idea. Again, Cunningham, a very crafty fighter. Great Torres. distance in there. You know, he just sticks the chin out, gets, gets to Torres to commit, and it just fades out of it. Mark of a great fighter to see how close you can make a guy miss. You know, if they didn't call him Sugarfoot, they'd probably call him Shadow. A nice underneath right hand by Cunningham there. Takes one in return from Torres that was not as effective. Fast and explosive. You can, you can spinning back their, fist, spinning kick by Torres, missing. You can improve their technical skills, but it's awfully, awfully hard to improve their speed. It's just almost impossible. Good kick there, the crowd reacted to, but it was blocked by the forearms of Juan Torres. Under 10 
under 30 seconds here in round 10. Juan Torres, again, he's getting pointed a lot, but it doesn't seem to get discouraged. He's continued to keep coming in. He just still wants to win this fight. Front kick there by Torres that backs Cunningham up. He's repaid with a left jab and a right cross. The mark of a mark of a true winner, you know, is to just keep. I'm sure that if they let this thing go on to 15, 16, 18 rounds, Juan Torres would be okay. Let's just keep doing this thing. And I'll tell you what, it'd be worth watching for 18 rounds too, because <laughs> these two guys are are just excellent technicians. As we are now coming up here on the 11th and final round of this Intercontinental Super Lightweight Championship, and John, uh, at this point in time, would you say that uh, uh, Juan Torres needs a knockout to win this fight? Yeah, I think that's pretty much the, the case. I, mean, I think he has to knock somebody out here. But as I say, I bet you if they, if, uh, if they let this fight keep going, he'd just fight here for 20, 25. He may not win after 25 or 30 rounds, but he'd probably still want to do it. Pete's, uh, Pete Cunningham there in the corner, it, it looks like he's almost wanting to smile a little bit. He's having a pretty good time here. He's got that fluorescent pink mouthpiece and he's yeah. ready to boogie. That's an ugly thing, isn't it? It's, it's, it is. Coming up. And toe to toe bang it out kind of thing. Absolutely. But you look at this and you can't help but be impressed by how skilled these fighters are. Again, as you say, neither fighter has been in trouble, neither fighter has been down. Good right nice and a left there. Nice combination. Lee Torres, he liked it. He liked it. Five punches unanswered by Torres. And Torres coming right back in. He'll throw with anybody. And again, Cunningham probably going to let out just a little bit of shaft in this round. Good right hand. He takes a right hand, Cunningham. Give one, get one. Torres isn't going to back up. Torres is pretty good about throwing the jab, jab, the right hand, or the spinning back fist. It looks like he's going to be off balance. And he'll throw that spinning back fist or spinning back kick. And under a minute here in round 11, the 11th and final round of this Intercontinental Super Lightweight Championship match here on World Championship Kickboxing. A good exchange there. You'd have to say that Cunningham got slightly the better of that one, John. That was the best right hand I think Cunningham's thrown. It seemed like it hit right on the jaw. And it seemed like Torres, for the first time, was affected by that. Maybe just a little bit of a lump there on the upper cheekbone of Torres as we are under 30 seconds in this fight. Two quick side kicks by Cunningham, both of them scoring. That right hand to the side of the head, but he had to lean out to do it. It took away the power. Torres, again, gets that front leg up. He's not easy to step in on. He's not easy to slide in there because he does pull that front leg up and keep it in the way. Under 10 seconds left in this fight. The good hook from Cunningham and the right hand back from Torres as these two fighters are going right down to the bell, and they do. An excellent fight here. Proud showing their appreciation for two excellent competitors. And again, several of the people here in the Hollywood Palladium up on their feet in appreciation of these two gladiators. And uh, of course, Peter Cunningham, the champion, speaking for himself in that regard. But Juan Torres, a guy that you're going to see down the line an awful lot of. Well, we will be back with the decision. John will have an interview with the winner right after this on World Championship Kickboxing. Stadium in Hollywood, California, where we have just seen the Intercontinental Super Lightweight Championship match between Juan Torres, the challenger, and Peter Sugarfoot Cunningham, the champion. It was a great fight through the distance. Two excellent technicians here. And uh, we are just about ready for the decision. Let's go up now to our ring announcer, Jimmy Lennon, Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, after 11 uh, rounds of championship kickboxing, we have a unanimous decision. All three officials agree the winner, the kick super lightweight intercontinental champion is Peter Sugarfoot Cunningham. Well, no real surprise there as uh, into the mid to later rounds. Into the mid to later rounds, it was Peter Cunningham taking control of the fight, as John Worley was telling you. And again, a, a very uh, a very respectful Juan Torres. These guys uh, obviously earned each other's respect in this uh, fight this evening. And in just a minute here, as soon as we get done with the belt, we're going to have John Worley in the ring. 
and an interview with Peter Cunningham. Of course, Cunningham uh, got himself a little bit of a workout here tonight. You can see he's a little bit tired right now. How you doing, Pete? Let's go up into the ring with John Worley and Pete Cunningham. Peter, congratulations. Nice job. Thanks. Thanks, Brendan. Well, I don't know about a nice job, but a job. Yeah. Just the same. Uh, like I uh, told you guys earlier, one is a game fighter, and he comes out there, comes to get you. Uh, he tried, he tried strategizing with me tonight a bit, you know, using his psychic to keep me off, and he leaned back very well, which, uh, gosh, for the most part, he rendered my kicks, uh, how can I say, useless. You know, I tried doubling up on those side kicks. Uh, we tried, okay, the spinning back kick, but everything was geared for, let's say, a Cliff Thomas, who's close to six feet tall, and I'm working with guys like uh, Jeff and Stan Longanini. These guys are all taller guys. So I'm trying to hit these guys in the chin with a back kick. I'm trying to take it low, but no can do, you know. My boy was good tonight. Well, listen, it seemed like it was a great workout for you. It looked yes, it like was. that uh, even though it wasn't a great fight from the standpoint of getting out and banging and banging, and a, lot, right. a lot of technical skills there, and, right. and he's an awkward guy. He's not an easy guy to fight. Right, not an easy guy to fight, and I found that out tonight. All right. Okay, we want to take a look down here at the monitor and kind of tell us what's going on here. Okay. I noticed he's trying to block. Uh, I was trying to get that left hook off underneath, and that overhand right. There you go. So I was successful in landing the hands, but uh, often in the inside I'd get caught again with maybe a a trip of a spinning, oh, there you go. There's an overhand right from him, all right? So uh, we stayed inside a little too long. I stayed inside, I should say, longer than my uh, my man, uh, Sensor Ruben Akides, wanted me to stay in. So what's coming up for you next? Okay, next, uh, we have a couple of big fights. Coming your way.